What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and today we're going to be talking about the best cornerbacks in Madden 18. Now, I don't care what they do to these two players. Even EA Sports could go right down to their houses and go nerf them in person, and it still won't affect the game. That's how sick these players are. Okay, now it's 97 overall Marshawn Lattimore, who if you did do the rookie premiere in Madden 17, you got him upgraded for free. And then the other one is Champ Bailey, tier 7. Okay, two pretty much, if you had to buy him, uh, the Lattimore, and you got him when he was at his highest point, I think you probably would have spent like maybe 700k for him. Um, when compared to other cornerbacks in the game, these two corners are by far the best. Like, even when I've been experimenting with new uh, offenses, new defenses, whatever, those two play their positions very well. Like, I'm about to get dotted right now in the middle of the field because he's going to playmaker me, and my linebacker is a complete idiot. And even though he has, like, a 90 gazillion zone, Levante David, he's still a complete and utter idiot. He got playmaker like everybody else would. The computer can't really do much when you're getting playmaker, right? But if you look at the zone coverages, Bailey is always there. Remember, they kind of broke the game a little bit with the C routes out of bunch. And I went through a game where no corner that I had on my team could defend it, right? As soon as I put Lattimore and Champ Bailey as my two corners, I don't worry about C routes. I don't worry about in routes, out routes. And most of the time, they play it out of a blue zone. You see what I'm saying? Like, all you have to do is shade them the right way, and they'll play them in different, you know, in, in zones that other corners won't even react to, all right? So pretty much what I'm going to suggest to you guys, a lot of you guys are worried about 99 overall teams and stuff like that. I'm going to suggest this to you guys. If you can put Champ Bailey somewhere on your roster and still keep your overall as high as you want it, I would put him there. If you have the John Madden coach, you probably could get Lattimore up to a 99 overall um, because I've seen people have him at a 98. So if you got the right John Madden coach, probably you get him to a 99 or something like that, uh, possibly. But he's worth it. He's absolutely worth it to be on your team. And as far as every other corner, like guys are telling me about Night Train Lane, you got um, you know, you know, Mel Blunt. Like, I tried all these guys out. They are bums. And the reason in behind – and what's another guy? He's such a dis – Willie Brown, the Super Bowl one. Listen, a lot of you guys argued with me. Yo, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. Yo, this guy's raw. And then, like, two videos later, yo, he's the worst corner ever, bro. You were right. Let me explain something to you. It's, it's sort of like Michael Vick at running back. No matter who you get and no matter how faster they are than Mike Vick, Mike Vick feels like he's the best running back in the game. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, no matter who you use, even if you got Chris Johnson right now, Chris Johnson is going to be really, really fast, all that stuff like that. But realistically, if you have Mike Vick, there's something about that card. And that's what happens. Every year in Ultimate Team, there's a specific card that's just like, it, no matter what EA does, they can't really nerf him. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's every year, it's one card like that. And I'm telling you right now, that Champ Bailey is ridiculous. And if you try him, he's going to pick it. He might not run it for six, even though he got the pick six cam, but he's going to pick it. And I don't care what route you're running because the dude is everywhere and it's ridiculous. But again, those are my two corners right now. And I don't think I would switch them out. Um, I do, I, you know, I want to experiment with other corners because a lot of you guys are telling me that you want to do budget squads and you guys want me to test out players for you. So what I'm going to need you to do is let me know in the comment section which players specifically, and then I'll lab with them, you know, offline and stuff like that before I bring them out into a real game. Because what happens is when I lab, when I stream, I get blown out. And then you guys are like, yo, you know, I got, I got weirdos coming in like, yo, bro, what's going on? They don't understand. I don't care about this game. I play it because you guys like it and also because I love football. That, that's pretty much what it is. It has nothing to do with me actually loving the game. It's addictive. And I give EA Sports that, bro. They got me by the gnarls. Bro, they got me by the short and curlies. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But like I said, regardless of what you want to do, regardless of the team that you put together, Champ Bailey can start as, a, as an outside corner on your team because he has the zone, he has the speed. And remember, he, he's not getting burnt. Even with that new John Ross with a 99 speed, he's not burning anyone. So I don't know. L listen, the only way he's going to burn somebody, let me just be very clear about this, is if the guy presses... And he's off a little bit because they, they patched the game where when, you know, like earlier in the year when you pressed and you were off the receiver, they would give you a free release. But now with the patch, when you base a line, even if you're off of the receiver, they'll still let you get a little press. Like you'll still be able to get a little press now. It's so stupid and fake, but that's what to expect from EA Sports and their development team. It doesn't make any sense at all. So I don't want you to use like justifiable, you know, justifiable knowledge when you're thinking about Madden. 
What I want you to do is just think about the most ridiculous thing you could possibly think. This guy's an idiot. You really think that Sean Taylor's going to have that, bro? Why did Sean Taylor come out of the end zone to the one-yard line again? I'm about to give up a safety. I'm about to give up a safety, bro. Like, this game, right? Bro, why did he come out, though? There was realistically no reason for him to come out of the end zone. Oh, go. Oh, my. Ugh. Yo, I hate that feeling when you see the whole opening just like that. And then look, look at this guy. It's always a guy that's just not getting blocked. Why is that? When all your old linemen are just there, there's always one guy that's not getting blocked. Yeah, I got to get tackled right there. Yeah, because I, I tried to step up in the pocket. You know what's weird about that, though? Other than me going for it on fourth and ten, I'm about to dot him mad hard. Oh, I didn't dot him? All right, good. So he deserves to score right here because I'm an idiot. But let me just say something about that. The whole, the whole thing about, like, this game is so weird that you'll play a guy, right? With, like, almost every player that you have on your team, and they'll do the complete opposite. Like, my players will drop every ball, and you'll play a bum with no eyeballs, no kneecaps, no fingernails, and he'll catch everything. And that's what, you see, people believe, oh, that's DVA. That's not DVA. That's just bad programming, bro. You guys don't understand. I've been trying to stress to you guys, and just to touch on that DVA situation, DVA has been in, been in games forever. It's, it's nothing new, bro. Any video game that you ever played where you were on a level forever and just couldn't pass it, it was a reason for that. They didn't want you to pass it. You know what I'm saying? You had to find different ways to do it. It's just like right now, Madden 18 has become so bad that people don't know what to do or what to say, and they're just creating reasons for why it's bad. But realistically, the development and when they patch the game is what makes it disgusting. But regardless of all of that, there's always players in the game that we could utilize to our advantage. And a lot of you guys are getting dotted on C routes. You're getting dotted on, you know, in routes, uh, posts and stuff like that. A lot of you guys don't have Sean Taylor. Shout out to all the guys that, you know, that shout me out and say that I helped them. Okay, of course, fumble ball. That I helped them get to that Mutt Master situation. I appreciate you guys' feedback. Shout me out for that, man. I put the tips out there for you guys to enjoy it. But in all honesty, Sean Taylor's going to be... Oh, he fumbled the back back to back. That's crazy. He probably had it on conservative too. But when EA wants you, bro, that's, you see that bottom right right there? The EA pregnancy test? Bro, I'm trying to get tested because I think EA is the father. So if you guys have questions about that. Um, so if you, any donations will be appreciated. Uh, but listen, let me just explain something to you, right? When EA does that, when EA starts doing stuff like that, when it's fumbles and all that stuff like that, and remember, a lot of these guys play on conservative, because especially the pro players. They, they, they just come out of conservative, and they're outright bums, and they understand how the game works, which makes them look a lot better. But all in all, the fumble situation is really, really ridiculous in this game. So I just want to make it very, very clear to you guys. Understand? Okay, this guy, another fumble? Bro, they, yo, EA is trying to just outright do me dirty, bro. Like, and I'm not going to do about this. It's, it's realistically nothing I can do about it. If they're going to make me fumble every play, there's nothing I can do. And you guys got to understand that. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Don't worry too much about the name of the player and the price and all that stuff like that. Worry about what makes your team play the best. Because if you look at this, you see that? You, I don't know what Rowdy was running, but it doesn't matter. Lattimore is playing him deep, inside, outside, around the back, at his mom's house. This dude is playing him everywhere. And he didn't want to try Champ Bailey anymore because he probably watched my videos. He fumbled again. Bruh, listen, you guys got to like this video because I'm about to just stop making Madden videos, bruh. You guys got to like this video a lot because I'm about to just stop. Yo, if this video don't get 200 likes, I'm about to just stop making Madden videos. My, yo, this guy fumbled, no lie, right in front of your faces like four times. They made me fumble four times. They really just don't want to see me winning. If you look on the right side right there, did you see how that that how to receive the, uh, the corner was off? The corner was off, right? So back... Like I just told you guys, the only reason that I probably got off on that is because he didn't base a line twice so that the guy could go over to the edge to bump him a little bit because more than likely you played a bum that was in cover two, that, that press and double, all that stuff, and then you get to like the force field uh, hammer, hammer time stop when they, when they press you at the line and then you can't really get off. So by the time you try to go deep, the safety's in position. Yes, that was designed by EA developer. Very, very extremely stupid. But that's what happens. There's a magical force field, bro, that's in front of your player, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I, like I said, I'm going to continue to go on and give you guys tips throughout my videos uh, about what I'm doing and how it's happening because a lot of my newer viewers as well as my older ones want to know some of the thought process that goes in. So that's why I'm starting to break it down for you guys. And in Madden 19, I'm going to do it a lot earlier, just let you guys understand the gist of what I'm trying to do, what you should be trying to do. Because you see Lattimore, right? If you notice Lattimore, you see how Lattimore stayed right there? Look, look at what look at what he's doing. I, I don't know if you can see. You see, okay, they're playing volleyball. But you see how Lattimore was just right there on that receiver? So when it was time for me to turn around, it didn't matter what he was doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, he he's always in the proper position. And if that same receiver would have cut inside, 
even though Lattimore was in the blue, he would have cut inside too. You see, like, bro, you just got to, bro, I, I got to put you guys on, but I'm going to get back to a short, short see, like, bro, what, see what I'm saying? You see how you try to throw it inside? Lattimore's in the deep blue right there. I think he is, right? Wasn't he? Wasn't he in the deep blue? Yeah, and he cut inside. I'm going to go ahead with a video view goal of 50K right here. Go ahead and like the video, 200 likes. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. G Myers World, one love.